It's been Washington's biggest mystery since Watergate. What kind of dog will the Obamas choose? Our resident veterinarian, Dr. We have to pass the bill so that you can uh, find out what is in it. And look, li this is one time. Forget the conspiracy. Listen to our government agencies. These guys are telling the truth. You know, there's no conspiracy here, folks. Just right. get your damn vaccine. All right. All right. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. Mercury-containing vaccines may help not harm kids, according to two new studies in the journal Pediatrics. There have been widespread concerns that mercury-based preservatives and vaccines might impair the neurological development of children. These new studies suggest that the opposite, that the preservatives may actually be associated with improved behavior and mental performance. I think people should be careful what they wish for on China. You know, if China were to revalue its currency, or China is to start making, say, toys that don't have lead in them or food that isn't poisonous, their costs of production are going to go up. And that means prices at Walmart here in the United States are going to go up, too. So I would say China is our greatest friend right now. They're keeping prices low, and they're keeping prices... For Today, six corporations control all major media in the United States including the principal television networks. These six corporate entities, in turn, control the information being broadcast on a daily basis. The average American adult watches more than four hours of television each day. The constant flow of entertainment, news, and information that is consumed by the American public shapes their perception of the reality in which they live. By controlling the dissemination of information, Broadcasters and their corporate heads are able to control the masses. The constant, carefully shaped messages on television guide the public to predetermined conclusions. Therefore, TV has become a weapon of mass persuasion. In order to take back our minds and our lives, we must first unplug the signal. Turn off your televisions. Cancel your cable and satellite subscriptions. Seek alternative news sources. Spend time with your family and connect with your neighbors and local community. Discuss and learn. Allow new information to challenge your thoughts and opinions. When we unplug the signal, we begin to realize that the world matrix that surrounds us is false. Many things we once thought of as true are lies. Never let us forget the truth will not be televised.